All right, so today I wanted to show you how to draw in your sketchbook if you'd like to, just a sweet little squirrel. And I'm gonna be brave and draw with Sharpie, so I'm not gonna be able to erase, so we'll hope for the best. <laughs> um, so I think Sharpie is really fun to draw with. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to be looking at, you know, I'm noticing kind of the shapes that I'm seeing. Um, it's kind of like an oval right there. And then, you know, kind of a, almost like a circle type shape there. Um, but I'm gonna be looking a lot at the edges of the squirrel. Cause if I try to draw all those little details at once, I'm gonna get overwhelmed. Um, so I'm gonna start right up here. I feel like that'll give me a good place to start. Um, I know I need to start close to the top of the page. And I'm just gonna do kind of quick little sketchy lines. They won't be perfect. Since I'm up here, I'm going to go ahead and make the eye and a little indentation of the nose. So the eye is kind of tilted. It's not straight up or down. I'm going to leave some little areas for highlight and then I'm going to go ahead and color that in for whatever that's worth <laughs> and then I'm going to kind of indicate the little lighter area around the eye. Kind of looks like an angry squirrel right now. That's okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go back up here. And the more you draw, the more you'll kind of just have like an idea of where you want to start. I'm gonna work on this little curve here. And then I'm not totally sure how far down this goes yet. So I'm gonna come back up here to those funny little hands. Okay. So I'm drawing that outside hand. I can tell I'm drawing it a little bit too big. That's okay. And there you have it. All right, I'm gonna look and maybe add a few more little details to this angry little squirrel. <laughs> I was not trying to make it angry, but it does look that way. I could add some more fur details. So this is not like the most exact squirrel in the world but I'm having fun drawing it. I think it's cute.
So you can add in, you know, as many or as few details as you want. Okie dokie. So I use kind of short, sketchy, choppy lines. But if you prefer, you know, smoother, less choppy lines, then you can use those. I am going over and kind of tidying up a few lines, but I'm okay with sketchy. All right. And actually, I do want to define this eye area a little bit more. All right, and now if you want to, you could use colored pencils or, you know, watercolor to color this in. I'm going to go ahead. I've got some brown watercolor ready and I'm just going to really quickly use a little bit to kind of sketch in a little bit of color. I'm looking to see where I see the most brown. And I'm seeing some kind of gray as well. mixing my brown and black and just using a light wash I'm using a, just a really light wash of black in the areas that are darkest. So like in my little paint tray, it looks about like that. And of course you can, you know, be more bold and add more intense colors if you would like.
There we go. And then I'll go ahead and paint the tree. Using a bigger brush here would have been a smart move, but alas, I did not. <laughs> All right, and then I might go ahead and add in a little bit of blue. I'm gonna add a little blue down here too. But go ahead and add in some sky. Blue and brown are comp they're called complementary colors. They're opposite each other. Well, actually, blue and orange, but blue and brown tend to work well together. Um. because they are pretty close to complementary colors. Like um, when you think of complementary colors, you can think of like red and green, um, blue and orange. All right. There we go, and then purple and yellow and complementary colors really tend to pop. And if you are painting with them and you mix them together, actually, they will make a form of black, um, which is kind of good to know. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little blue up here in the browns, teeny tiny bit. I think it helps it, everything look like it blends together a little bit more. All right, and there we have it, our sweet little squirrel.